Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Prove by induction that 4 to the power of n is greater than 4 to the power of n plus 1. n is greater than or equal to 2, n is an element of n. Okay, so this is the first time we've come across one where the starting number wasn't one. So the starting number in this case is true. Okay, so how does that change what we're doing? Well, you can't show true for n is equal to one in this case because um, um, it's not starting at one. The smallest number you can show true for is n is equal to two. Okay, so our starting number in this one is two. So therefore, on my left-hand side, it'll be four to the power of two. And the right-hand side will be four times two plus one. So I have 16 is greater than for two, zero, eight, or nine. So 16 is indeed greater than nine. So it holds true for um, n is equal to two, okay? And you'll see here straight away that if you had sub n in is equal to one, which you could very easily do um, because it's that in most cases, you'd have got four to the power of one is greater than four, to, four ones plus one, okay? And you'd have got four is greater than five, okay? Which doesn't hold true, okay? So if you get a condition where it's not true and it's proved by induction, then check your starting number um, because chances are you've either mathematically made a mistake or started at the wrong number. Okay, so uh, the next step, assume true. For n is equal to k. So I'll have four to the power of k is greater than four to the power of k plus one. Okay, nothing I can do really to simplify that. So let's go ahead and prove true for n is equal to k plus one. Okay, so I'll have four to the power of k plus one. Is that greater than four to the power of k plus one plus one? Okay, um, let's break the left-hand side out by the rules of indices. So I'll have four to the power of k by four. And let's tidy up the right hand side. Four by k plus four. And of course the plus one at the end. Okay, uh, so I'll just jiggle this around. Four by four k, is that greater than four k plus five? Okay, um, and I see uh, four to the power of k here. So I'm going to use my expression that I developed for when n is equal to k and sub them in. So that I get four times four k plus one. Is that greater than four k plus five? So I've lost that 16 k plus four. Is that greater than four k plus five? Um, it's kind of clear that it is, but let's bring all to one side. So I'll have 16k plus 4 minus 4k minus 5. Is that greater than 0? Okay, so I'll end up with, what's that, 12k minus 1. Is that greater than 0? Well, yes. It is for sure, therefore four to the power of k plus one is greater than four k plus five or whoever you want to write it. Okay, um, I might just put in the starting condition there for that one because it wasn't true when n is equal to one. Okay. Therefore, P of K plus one holds true. I 
It's human. P of k is true. P of 2 is also true. Therefore, P of n holds true for n is greater than or equal to 2. n is an element of n. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.